So this project is going to be a flare skirt. Uh, this is the kind of, I guess, technical flat for the pattern pieces. Uh, I need to cut them all out and then um, tape them together. So that's going to be the next step. Uh, using this cotton wall fabric. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Super excited. Uh, but this pattern is the next And now with all of the pattern pieces cut out, uh, the next step is going to uh, cut the fabric out um, because this is cotton wool and pinning it. Uh, so the fabric, not the fabric, the pattern paper is uh, printer paper and trying to pin through that and the fabric as well is a pain. So I'm gonna be doing um, pattern weights and a rotary cutter for this particular pattern. So I'm about to cut out the center front piece of the skirt. Um, it'll be the first one that I am cutting out. Um, because of the abstract nature of this fabric, um, while I am paying attention to the grain line to make sure that that is where it should be, I am, I don't care if uh, some of the pieces are oriented this way, uh, like with the top and the bottom versus the top down here and the bottom up there. Um, it's not going to really make a difference because of the fabric pattern itself. Um, so there's that. I also have a smaller seam allowance on these because I am planning on doing a French seam, um, so I just don't need as much of the seam fabric uh, as I would for other seam finishes. So yeah, uh, time to cut out the pieces of fabric. I now have the three front pieces um, all pinned together, so the next step for me is to actually sew the seams, press them, and then trim them, and then flip them outside and sew them down again for the French seam. Um, so yeah, progress! Alright, so the front and back halves um, I have finished sewing together. Uh, the panels for each of those and doing French seams on them. So now the next step is to sew the two halves together, uh, which I've not done the French seams with a pocket like I'm doing, um, which is where it's going to be on either side of this seam. So we're going to see how this goes um, when they are flipped inside the skirt. They will have the same fabric, um, like pattern. So. Uh, I'm probably gonna sew just like this one edge just like up to where it then connects and then sew the other one all the way down and do the seam that way. Um, on the other side I have this pin here um, because I'm gonna be installing a zipper. Uh, we're gonna see <laughs> how that goes um, because I will have to do one side of the zipper to this, one half of the pocket to this, the other side of the pocket to the other side of the zipper, and then finish that. Um, and then I still have to do like the hem of the skirt as well as um, do a waistband. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> One of the next things that I'm doing with the skirt is the waistband. So I have some uh, interfacing that did not cut totally straight, but we'll trim it up and fix it. Um, what I did, this is not sewn yet, um, it is just ironed. So uh, the sides or the edges up and then in the middle um, and in that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is put the interfacing into here, do a basting stitch to keep it in place, and then I'm going to pin this around the top edge of the skirt and then sew that all together. Uh, eventually there will also be a button going on this, uh, but the next step is to get it attached to the skirt itself. Okay, so... <laughs> I finished uh, hemming the edge of the skirt, um, so up here is the waistband. I will film another clip going over that more, um, probably once I have the button and buttonhole in. Uh, next up for me is to take this lace edging and 
pin and sew it to the hem of the skirt. Yay! Okay, it is morning the next day. I still have a few things to do on the skirt, um, but I'm gonna go over what I've done so far. So the front plant panels, back panels, everything is sewn together. The only thing I really have left to do is to make a buttonhole here. Um, right now this is wide enough where I could wear it either at my natural waist or a bit lower. So what I'm going to do is do just the one buttonhole here and then on the other side I'm going to put two different buttons. So if I want to wear it higher at my natural waist, then I use a button here. And if I want to wear it a little bit lower, um, do it at the button here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so, uh, um, French seams, my beloved. And you can hear a cat playing in the background. Um, so what ended up happening, I still need to do some fixing down here. Um, so it's the French seam up until where I got the zipper attached in. I need to figure out how I'm going to finish this so it looks nice and pretty. Um, I mean, the pocket is there and done. Um, I don't mind the attachment there. It's just this bit down here that uh, is going to drive me a bit crazy. Um, on the other side here, I don't know if I need to like iron it or just pick it and do something different, but uh, it did not come out as well on this side. So that's, you know, do I ignore it and say it's passable because it's just me wearing this? Probably. Um, I did also get all of the lace attached to the hem. Um, I just did a zigzag strip. Uh, stitch over it um, with white thread which obviously if you're like looking at it you can see it but if it's I mean if you're wearing it who cares so that's the current status update of everything um again need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> and then um get the button and button hole done there and then uh iron it and then it should be all set so yep so there's not a whole lot of things in sewing that I practice uh, before doing it on the garment itself. Uh, buttonholes, welt pockets, uh, stuff like that is definitely the, <laughs> the exception to that. Uh, this is why. So um, what I did is I took the fabric and I just looped it in on itself. So it's three layers thick, um, the middle layer kind of being sort of like the... Um, interfacing is because it's about the same weight as this fabric itself. So this was my uh, very first attempt. This was the, all right, we're doing great. And then we get to here and then um, it wouldn't go back and forth. Um, I'm using a one step buttonhole uh, foot um, and setting on my machine. So that wasn't going the full width across. Then I uh, did it again. This was too loose, and well, it did go across and come back. This was me going like, oh, that's right. Um, going forward, it gives it a different length for whatever reason. Uh, so um, then did it again. Uh, this time when I got to this point up here, uh, before going back down this stretch, I did um, shorten the length um, so it would be about equal. And this was like a fine, it's fine, width um, or length or whatever. Uh, but I was wondering if I could get it to be tighter. So then I did it again. So I wonder if it has something to do with um, more of the tightness where when it gets up to here, again, it did that thing where it didn't go the full width across. So I don't know if it's a, I need to like pull the fabric more. So it like, I don't know. Anyway, so I ended up um, with this um so it's about the same like width um and length as this one um up here again just confirming that yes that does work um and then i take a seam ripper and i go through the middle then what i'm going to do on the actual garment is i will take and hand sew just a little bit around the edges just to kind of prevent it from fraying a whole lot um but this is what i've settled on for this particular buttonhole um but yes <laughs> So this was progress. All right. So this is as 
done as it's gonna get, uh, aside from I might do a little bit of detailing, which I will talk about in a hot minute. Uh, right now, clearly the skirt is on a mannequin and not me. I, yeah. Um, so let's talk about this. Uh, right now I do have a petticoat underneath it. Um, however, it is a short one. It only goes to about there. Um, I do have materials to make a longer one, which I will eventually do. Um, but that is a thing. So on this side, this is of course the zipper. Um, right now it is buttoned on the closer button. The other one is right under here. Um, here you can also see I mismeasured the waistband. So there I had to add an extra bit to it. Um, the end of the zipper is, I mean, it's done enough. It I did a little bit of hand sewing uh, there as well as to tack this down there, but I mostly I'm just kind of letting it come together as it does. Um, in this pocket I do have, it's a full-sized envelope, so you can get a sense for how deep the pockets are. Um, but yeah, so this is the skirt. It is very light. It is very fluffy. I'm very happy with it uh, and excited to uh, start wearing it. There you go forgot to mention the detailing. Um, the idea was, so the lace that I have at the bottom, to maybe do a little bit on the edges of the pockets. Maybe. I have just about enough left over to be able to do that on um, both of them. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if that happens. It doesn't need it. That would just be an extra for funsies. So yeah.